Hello everyone! This is Chef Good Choice. Good choice! In last video, I talked about what is wok. And what is wok hay? Is it really important? It's Cantonese from China, pot, and pan same time. Caramelization is made. And also, oil becomes smoky. Ooh, so much wok hay. Wok hay. So in this video, I will talk about how to cook food with wok hay without the wok. Is it possible? Yeah, easy. Actually, there are a few ways to make wok hay with normal pan at home, which I call pan hay. Pan hay. According to my research, wok hay is kind of burnt aroma and flavor of sugar from the sauce and ingredients, and oil becomes smoky in hot temperature. So all together, become wok hay. So if we're tossing the food in the fire, the sugar from the sauce and ingredient got caramelized, especially when the fire dry out the food quickly and also oil become smoky. However, if we can make that beautiful burnt aroma with different easy and simple way and infuse it into the food, it should have same result as wok hay. Makes sense actually, right? So here are four different ways to make pan hay at home. Let's start! Let's do it! Before cooking, there are two different ways to make pan hay before start cooking. First, soy sauce and oil. This is a tip many chefs use in the kitchen, even western restaurant as well. Firstly, we put the pan on the fire and wait to heat up. Once pan become hot, add the oil and some soy sauce on the corner of pan about 1 to 2 tablespoons because the pan is really hot soy sauce will be evaporated so quickly and deglaze on the pan uh -oh. well of course you can use different type of liquid sauce but this is asian cooking channel so i want to use soy sauce in this video now soy sauce is gone just deglaze part on the pan left but when you cook other ingredients on the same pan, some water coming out from the food and liquid in the sauce goes to that deglazed part and absorb all the aroma and flavor. See, it's already gone. This kind of burnt, aka deglazed soy sauce give extra smoky flavor and aroma and work as a wok hay. Second, Sugar. As I mentioned before, wok hay is aroma and flavor from caramelized sugar from the sauce. So this cooking method is just put sugar into the pan and burn it. I mean, don't really burn the sugar, just caramelize it. Put the pan on the fire and put one tablespoon of sugar and just leave it. Do not stir. Just let it melt. I think many people have this experience that you know, melting sugar on the pan to make some candy kind of snack, sweet stuff like honeycomb but be careful melted sugar is really dangerous once sugar is caramelized put some cooking oil or beautiful infused oil and start to cook food the caramelized sugar aroma flavor will be mixed through into your food and improve just like wok hay after cooking now we're gonna talk about how to make pan hay after cooking third Toothpick and aluminum foil. This is simple technique. Once food is cooked on the pan, use tongue and push to one side. Put foil on the pan next food and put fire on the toothpick. Once toothpicks start to burn, put on the foil and lead on. The smoky aroma from the toothpick will be absorbed into the food beautifully. Yes, of course, there are many kitchen equipment like smoking gun, but you don't have to buy them just for smoking infusing. Cold smoke gun, such as a Breville, cold smoke it with the wood of your choice. Then Joshua, that is too expensive. Equipment just for fry rice. Cold smoke gun, hiya. Who this cooking video for? Billionaire people. My god, they think money go on tree. <laughs> Last, direct fire. Just simply, we can use torch on the food. This is obvious that we actually apply fire on the food. And of course, the food will have breath of fire. <laughs> like cooking in the fire above the wok. So even if we don't have torch, we can do this too, right? No. <clears throat> okay, if we don't have torch at home, here's the easy way to make same result, like torch. You can strain the food. 
to make sure food is not too wet and put on the fire like this and just move around to make sure food is not getting burnt just get fume and back to the pan and mix it with the sauce to make sure the film goes everywhere of food. Now it's done. Easy, right? All those four different ways. Now you don't have to buy wok to make good stir fry. Cause a high percentage, even you have wok, you may not have good toasting skill too. There's no point. So use my simple tips for your food cooking at home with pan. Upgrade your food just like this. Hey. No one complain about too much wok hay. Like, but nobody ever complain food too umami. So today, I just not today with the last video, I talk about wok hay. Not just that what is wok, why chef touching with the wok, and most important, how to make pan hay at home. I hope you enjoy my video and help you your home cooking so much. I'm Chef Good Choice. Good choice and see you in different video. Thank you for watching and bye bye!